Let's move to the next question in Marine Mechanics e-learning modules and this module is all about emergency build suction valve. So the question is why the emergency build suction is connected to the main seawater pump and why not to the ballast pump? Can it be connected to the fire and GS pump? So these are very often asked questions in the oral examinations. The rules and regulations states that the emergency build suction valve must be connected to the highest capacity pump in engine room. This can be any pump. However, most of the time it's connected to the main seawater pump just because of the reason it's continuously running always. You don't have your ballast pump always running or you don't have, uh, let's say, any other bilge pump continuously running. So it is for that reason your main seawater pump is always running and thus supposed to be the highest capacity running pump and thus it is connected to the main seawater pump. However, there is an exception. There are ships where fire and GS pumps are continuously running for cooling services or auxiliary cooling services. In that case, the emergency build suction valve can be connected to the fire and GS pump also. The regulation states that it must be connected to the highest capacity pump in engine room. So why not with the ballast pumps? Ballast pumps are supposed to be having the highest capacity. Kindly note that the ballast pumps are used only for ballast exchange or during cargo loading or discharge. It's not going to run all the time. And most of the cases when you start the ballast pump, it's going to be requiring extra power like generators or something like that. So that's the reason it's not connected to the ballast pump and the main seawater pumps are most often used for you know, connecting the emergency build suction valve. Let's move on to the next question. 